Pokemon Legends Arceus granted us one of the strongest starters in generations in the form of Hisui and Samurott, but just how strong will Samurott be against the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Regulation D ladder? Today, I want to show off why Samurott's Hisuian form not only redeems the awful qualities that the Unovan form presented in competitive, but actually stands out as a phenomenal cleaner and wall breaker in VGC 2023, and it might even just be a Pokemon to consider watching out for in the World Championships this year. If you enjoyed this video at any point in time, of course, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more, and check out Kurt, whose links will be down in the description below, and who edited the video today. With that said, let's get right into it. So just what makes Samurott's Hisuian form so much better than the Unovan one? For starters, Hisuian Samurott already has a huge buff starting off with that water and dark typing, which already is amazing for it considering how amazing most dark types are currently in the competitive Pokemon landscape this generation. With a new signature move in the form of Cecil Sedge, Hisuian Samurott is the first Pokemon in history to make spikes actually viable in VGC due to the fact that this move deals 65 base damage and actually sets regular spikes. If that wasn't enough, your new hidden ability Sharpness boosts the damage of your moves like Sacred Sword, the newly created Aqua Cutter, and of course, your signature move Cecil's Edge, by 1.5 times damage. To add on more to how good this Pokemon got, your base speed also gets increased from a measly base 70 all the way to 85, which actually presents a lot of benefits with general power creep this generation in the speed department. And with all the other previous buffs, it's no wonder to see how this Pokemon stands out so much in comparison to the Unova counterpart. Our team today actually features a very interesting concept that actually takes me a bit out of my comfort zone. Normally, I rely on speed control as a massive crutch, but this is probably one of the first teams I've featured in ages on the channel that actually has zero means of speed control, outside of just common priority moves. Nonetheless, this team consists of Chien Pao, Dragonite, Fluttermane, Heatran, and our two Hisuian Pokemon being Gudra and Samurott. The goal of this team is typically to lead off with one of Chien Pao and either Dragonite or Hisuian Samurott, with the backline typically consisting of Samurott, Gudra, Heatran, and Fluttermane. Typically, I lead off with Dragonite and Chien Pao against most comps, but against cores such as Ursluna and Cresselia or Armoration and Indeedee, I typically go with Samurott instead of Dragonite due to the fact that it matches up so well into most of these chicken cores. I'll then use Fluttermane as a cleaner in most games due to the fact that it's a really strong special option and most teams in late game don't actually beat this mod pretty easily. Meanwhile, we have Hisui and Gudra and Heatran as more defensive options in our backline, which are typically used to check Pokemon like Fluttermane and Urshifu Rapid Strike respectively. With that said, let's see how the team actually performs on the Regulation D ladder today. And we're here today with our set of games. Now, I'm so sorry to anyone who might have been looking forward to this video a couple days ago. It was supposed to go up on Wednesday. Uh, I almost deleted my recording though. Kurt actually talked me out of it. Kurt's a good editor. Um, shout outs to Kurt. Um, anyway, we made it for TikTok content, which will probably be used to plug this video. A little bit misleadingly, but it will still be used to plug this video. It's technically the same mod still. Um, but anyway, we are here today, uh, we're using Hisui and Samurai. Uh, now, in the first set of recordings, before even that set, I went like 2-0. Then the TikTok ones happened, I went 0-3 oh to really dumb stuff, and now we're now we're using it here. Uh, Heatran, Gardakuno, Urshifu, Zapdos, Garchomp, Ornatus. Okay. So I think it realistically, Pouch Knight is just a really good lead here. Uh, th it's one of those things where, like, why overthink it? I can definitely backline Hisui Rot. Hisui Rot's still really good here. I just don't really need it for Ceaseless. Um, and then I kind of like the idea of going with Gudra. Uh, I mean, Gudra's pretty decent overall, and it's kind of hard to break once I get the plus two up. Uh, Fluttermane could have also been really good. My concern with Fluttermane, though, is the fact that this feels like it's pretty obviously Steel Garchomp on Tailwind, which I can't match that speed with. So I'd rather not bring Fluttermane here, especially when we also have to deal with the fact that this Urshifu will be potentially kind of a problem. Again, it's one of those things where, like, under Tailwind, this mod's kind of scary. Um, I think, though, that I can probably set up on most things here. Yeah, see, so Garchomp is okay, pretty obvious. Um, again, one of those things where I don't really need to overthink, though. Uh, what I'm going to do instead is I'm actually going to just probably nuke the, nuke the Torn. Actually, no, I'm, I'm not, I don't think I'm adept for that. Um, what I'm going to actually do instead is I think I'm going to go for Protect here. And then I'm Terra, no, I am Terra Normal, actually. Oh, okay. Then I actually can make a different play. I'm mixing up teams, because I have a team, actually, that I'm going to be using later on for, uh, for Monday's video that actually has a Terra Flying Dragonite. Uh, spoiler alert, it's not what the team is built around, it just has a terrifying Dragonite. Uh, so I was a little bit iffy on what play I want to make here. Because obviously Terra Flying Dragonite could have been kind of scary. Uh, this is gonna go for- ooh, Terra Fire. Okay, so I got the Terra Call wrong, but still the same point of a like, fairy resistance. I don't really regret my choice of not bringing Fluttermane. Um, okay, so D9 can hopefully just pick off the Torn. I've seen a lot of these just Oko outright, so I'm pretty hoping that this isn't- I'm pretty hoping that this is- 
that's English. I'm very much hoping this torn is not like a really defensive torn. Um, at least I know that the non-offensive torn and the non-defensive ones do definitely get massacred by this hit. Um, especially with this combo in particular. So, yep, okay, their torn drops, perfect. Now that's their speed control gone for the whole game, which is huge. Uh, I'll be at D-Night priority will still be very good against them anyway, same as Chain Power with the second one priority. Uh, but it still is, of course, good to note that I can still continuously deal a lot of damage. Like, that Garchomp is probably dead next turn, for example. Now they're probably gonna- oh, they're going for Fire Fang. Ooh, and Chimpo avoided that. That was very lucky. I honestly thought that they were gonna go for Rock Slide there. I think Rock Slide would've been a little bit smarter. Um, but, hey, good of Iron Pump. Um, to be fair, there's a good chance they probably don't have Rock Slide if they're running Fire Fang, which has its own matchup sweep there. It's actually really good against a lot of steals. Um, but the thing is, those steals aren't viable right now. Like, Corviknight, for example. Really good against Corviknight. Not a viable mod right now. Uh, anyway, uh, outside of semantics about their team, what I'm going to proceed to do is I'm going to go for a Sacred Sword into Urshifu, and I'm going to go for an E-Speed into Urshifu. I want to just kill the Urshifu. The Urshifu is kind of a pain in the ass for this team. Uh, and if I can kill Urshifu Rapid, I'm kind of set. Uh, I can pretty easily clean that Garchomp later on with Samurott. It's actually not going to be a big deal. So I'd rather just take out the Urshifu, which could actually just stop my Samurott from winning. So we're already up 4-2, uh, which is great. Now I'm going to leave Pal here, but I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, truthfully, I would have been okay with that even on the last. Oh, okay, so yeah, that's why we were on Rock Slide, ladies and gentlemen. Um, because at the very least, we would have been fine with, uh, of course, just potentially getting. I don't know. Rock Slide just, I feel like, was the better option. Um, we're gonna go for the. We're gonna target the Garchomp here, actually, uh, because I'm anticipating a Gardakuno Protect this turn. So we're actually just gonna target the Garchomp, and I'd rather just kill that one. I feel like there's a good chance actually that they try and bank on me dual targeting the not Garchomp spot and then instead just try and bank on that. No, they're actually going to attack. Okay, that's still honestly fine uh, because Garchomp will just drop and it drops anyway. So I guess we're just going to win off a Pow Knight lead, which is still fine. Because um, it's Articuno, there's no way it lives like any hit in Chimpo. There's no way in hell it actually. Oh, wait. I clicked Sacred Sword, didn't I? Okay, so I guess it lives very comfortably in a hit from Chimpo. I really didn't think that that would even. Kill. I don't know why I didn't think it killed. I just, for some reason, it is a bit wooden. But this works out well. This works out well. Um, because, because what I could do instead, actually, <laughs> I can farm from a thumbnail here. Um, because most ordinary people would go for their win here. No, no, no. I'm not most ordinary people. We should know this. I went two and two and zero oh and zero oh and three with this team. So clearly, you know, I've yet to get a recording with this, which means I'm not most people. So instead, we're gonna farm for content here. I'm gonna bring in the Guja because even if Hisui Rot fails me. Gudra will still be here, and that's fine because I can pivot the video really quickly into Gudra instead. So we're set. This is the beauty of doing my intros after the script. We can we can pivot if the recording goes wrong. They're gonna go for freezing glare here, uh, which means it went into the Gudra spot. I'm fine with that. 20% chance to freeze, but I mean it's not gonna freeze. And then Cecil's Edge Samurai. Oh my god, that is such a sick animation. I love that. That's such a cool animation. We have the crit too, which is huge. Uh -huh. And then the late game spikes for the next game is also really huge. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so we're 1-0. Oh. We'll take that. That's really good. I'm really glad that we're actually doing work with this team because this team is really scary. I just feel like I use it inconsistently good. Uh, we're going to get into game number two, though. We'll see you guys then. We are taking on the Bramble Gas team up next. Uh, Bramble's kind of scary, ironically, in this format with all the bleak wind moves and, and all, really just all the storms going around. This mod is actually kind of terrifying. Um, I, I use terrifying loosely to be fair, but it matches up really well into this team in particular, specifically this hammer out, which is the goal of the team. Uh, what I'm going to do here, let's see, so they're likely going to lead off, I feel like it's either Pau Dina or Torn Bramble. I feel like those are really the only leads that lead against this team. I mean, maybe Pau Flutter. Um, I kind of like the idea of leading off with, like, Flutter main Pau of my own. I feel like that's a really safe lead into their team. Um, yeah, because realistically, the way I see it, is I can go for Terra on Fluttermane if they lead off with, uh, well, I'd probably just go for Tech, truthfully. They lead off with Bramble, and, yeah, if they lead off with, like, Bramble Torn, I feel like I'd go for that. Um, I could also actually just, yet again, lead off with Power DNA. I feel like it just matches up really well. I'll bring Fluttermane in the back. Uh, Fluttermane is really good in this team. They don't have a Fairy check outside of maybe the Bramble, which I think is Terra Vire in this team. I forget 100%. This isn't the Cybertron team, I'm just hitting, I'm just realizing now. It's still probably Terra Fire Bramble, though. I feel like it's a good defensive Terra on it. Um, Last Mon, I feel like Last Mon definitely is Hisui Rot. Uh, Hisui Rot overall doesn't do a lot more than either of these two, but it's a little bit more click-worthy, so we're going to go with Hisui Rot. Um, because Pal obviously has Sacred Sword, that's going to be really annoying for my Shelter Gudra. And then, meanwhile, Heatran doesn't really do anything to, like, Azu or really most Mons on this team. Uh, it's good for Flutterman, and that's kind of where its usefulness ends. Uh, that I get, I guess, Bramble Gas, too. Um, Tornadus, Bramble Gas. Okay. 
So looking at their team, they left with Tornadus is Doom Roll. Okay, definitely interesting, but I could still muscle this very confidently. I'm not really too scared of this lead by any means. Uh, what I'm going to proceed to do is I'm going to go for the I'm going to go for the Ice Spinner into Torn, and I'm going to go for the Tower Normal Extreme Speed into Torn. Essentially, the logic here is that if Torn goes for a Terra Ghost, I could still nail it for really high damage. Uh, now it doesn't look like Torn went for Terra. Uh, Azu might still have one for Terra, which is fine. Because most likely because of Torn not going for Terra Ghost or like some sort of resistance like Steel or something like that, I can most likely actually just Ice Spinner the Ozzy, which won't do a lot of damage to be fair, but it's something at least. Uh, like, like I hit should at least probably do, I want to say it's probably going to do like 30%. I mean, we're not like banded or anything, but I'm going to guess 30%. That feels like a safe damage roll. Uh, this lead just does so good. This lead is so good on ladder. It's like the like equivalent of like Flutter Manchu last you know, last format. But I would argue that it's even better of a lead in this current format than it was in last format. It's kind of insane how good Pow D Knight really is into some into not some most ladder teams right now. And I fully believe it's because of these torn leads. These torn leads make this such a good lead for most teams. Ah, uh, perfect. Okay. Is it gonna be booster? Please be booster. That reveals so much sad information. Perfect. Okay. Booster speed, booster special attack. Speed, okay, so it's timid flutter. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna proceed to go for the I'm gonna go for the protect here actually. And I'm gonna go for E-speed into Azu. Most likely what's gonna happen is they're gonna kill my dragon this turn, which I'm okay with that. I'm actually really okay with losing dragon this turn because having the having the uh Samurai coming in next will be really good for me. Uh honestly Flutter Man's also gonna be really good here. Um, because I can proceed to go for a protect plus some sort of ice spinner into their flutter and be set. Um, but it kind of depends on what Mon they bring in afterwards, because if they go for if they go for something with priority, that could be kind of bad. Um, oh, they just don't kill. And that also works. That's still really good for me, because Dina's just going to mull the partner slot into submission. Uh, Bramble. Okay, never mind. Dina's actually useless at this point. Um, technically not useless, but it's not good. We'll go for Ice Spinner into Flutter, and then I'm going to proceed to switch out into... We're going to go into my own Flutter. Because my own Flutter is kind of not good against this court, uh, considering they can always Shadow Ball me for free. And on top of that as well, their Bramble could have Shadow Sneak to be fair. Uh, which, really, that's the only reason if I had to guess what they backlined it for. Um, essentially though, I should only be saving my D-Knight for the end game where I can Aerial Ace this. So, that's what I'm going to do. There we go for Terra. That is most likely going to be on the... Oh, yep, it is on the Bramble, that's fine. Uh, Terra Fire, perfect. Okay, so I called the Terra Fire. Uh, this should be really good, actually, because with Terra Fire, I can proceed to clean this up later on with D-Knight, because it lost the immunity, which is really good for me. Very remember for Gleam. Gleam is fine. That means I did not click Sneak, which means I can probably just pick off the, the Flutterman here, which is really good. Uh, I can't imagine that Flutterman with Booster Speed is actually going to be bulked up enough to take this hit. Perfect. Okay, that drops. Perfect. So it's just Bramble left. Uh, Bramble being left is fine. Um, Terra Blast. Okay, so Terra Blast is going to probably pick off the GM Pow here. I'm okay with that, because realistically, their Bramble, I kind of want to go for the gimmick and see if I can kill the Samurai again, um, because again, just feeding the narrative that Samurai is that broken is really good for the video. Um, but we're going to go into Samurai. <laughs> there, there's going to be a game where there's Monterras, I promise. I've had a lot of them on ladder in testing, uh, even outside of the this where Samurai just goes ham. The Mon is very good right now. Um, we're going to protect, because worst case scenario, I have Fluttermane plus D-Knight, which should be really fine in the back line. So, we should be set here. Uh, we outpace anyway, which is huge. I wasn't sure if we'd outpace. I always forget if Bramble's, like, faster or slower. Uh, it's probably just, like, an add-in Bramble Gas, because I'm pretty sure this thing has space in 90 speed. Tell me in the comments below if I'm right on that. Uh, usually, I, I like to think I'm good at speed tiers, but I feel like I might be wrong in this case. Uh, anyway, though, we're 2-0. Oh. Same round. It's won me two games now. So, thank you guys for the interaction saying that I that I didn't. Sam Rod is the best starter right now. Okay, so we're taking on Trick Room as our next team, which is honestly pretty fun. Um, I love these Trick Room teams with like H Lily. I think it's really the best way to run Trick Room right now, personally. Um, okay, so this is a little bit tricky though, because Side Spam actually could be kind of scary. Um, I definitely lead off with Pow. I think I lead off with Pow Samurai. That's usually what I lead into these comps. Uh, the only bad lead for this would be if they lead off with Lily Cole, but even still, I do have outs. Um, we're going to proceed to bring Heatran in the back. Heatran's really good, especially with Terra, and this will certainly be my Terra Mon here. Uh, because Terra Bug Heatran actually walls this comp to all hell and back. Uh, it's great for Torkoal, for example. It's great for Armorers. It's also really good, though, for stuff like Ursaluna, which is amazing. Um, we're going to Final Mon bring... I kind of want to bring Fluttermane. I feel like it's really good here. I could also bring Gudra, just because... It, uh, in case if Heatran dies, Terra Water Gudra is also actually really good here. But actually, I'm going to go with Terra Water Gudra. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with Terra Water Gudra. 
I'm still gonna bring Heatran. I think Heatran can still have a place here, but I'm just gonna aim to kill the Ursulina first because Terrawater Gooch is actually pretty unkillable for this team. Uh, realistically, either one actually could be decent. It kind of just depends on their backline. Really though, the the lead with Power Plus the uh, Samurott should, in most cases, just pick off whatever my opponent leads. The only bad one's Lily Cole, but I if it's Lily Cole lead, I can go hard into. Mm. Ugh, that's actually kind of hard because both, all of my mounts are fighting weak, which means that if Lily's running close combat, that's kind of bad. Indeed, it's Ursulina. Okay, so much. Better. This is actually a really key lead for me because there is a high chance that Ursulina just goes for a protect turn one, which I'm okay with that. I'm very okay with that. Uh, and because of this comp as well, I can actually just go for Aqua Cutter plus Ice Spinner into that Indeedee, and realistically, that doesn't take the hit. There's actually no typing that this could go for besides Terra Water which I've never actually seen an Ndidi run. And it's weird too, because I feel like Terra Water is not terrible on Ndidi, uh, but only Terra Water could actually take the set. That's the only mon in the game for, well, it's the only Terra type for Ndidi, because anything else would either turn it into the still neutral hit, which drops, and I know that it drops, or one of the moves goes to super effective, and even if it's a resistance, this truth would probably just Oko's in the first move. Protecting Ursulina, perfect. Uh, so by doing this turn though, we are going to essentially guarantee the kill on Didi even for Tower Fairy, which is the most common Tower type this thing does run. Uh, but not only this, but we clear terrain, which is really good because when Armor Rouge comes in later, I can sucker punch it. Which might not seem like a big deal, but it's actually pretty valuable, uh, especially if... Well, it's also really good for stuff like for the... Uh, for the Logan. If I left, unless I'm on Focus Sash, I can just sucker punch that slot. For, for Torkoal, I can sucker punch before I take the after you, which is really huge. That can lower eruption damage, which helps a lot with my end game. Point being though is that it gives me a lot of options. Armorage comes in. Okay, perfect. So I can just freely sucker punch this. Um, what I'll do here is I'm actually actually mm, do I want to target Ursulina? I feel like I target Ursulina instead. Orn over this, and I'm gonna go for the Aqua Cutter here. I could just go over Dual Sacred Sword in all honesty, and that has some merit here. Actually, it does have some merit here, doesn't it? I'm gonna go for Dual Sacred Sword. Uh, this is most likely going to be some sort of Terra normal set fight, I guess. Uh, they usually run normal. If it's running. Uh, if it's on a ground, then so be it. I don't mind Terra Ground, actually. It's pretty fine for my back line. Uh, I don't think Ursuline is the Terra Mon, though. Anyway, I think it's honestly Armor Rouge. Which, Terra Armor Rouge is fine, too. The Mon's kind of weak for that size, man. Um, they could also maybe go with Hat. I feel like Hat... Well, no. They probably didn't bring Hat. They actually probably have Last Mon Torkoal. The hot take there. I think it's Last Mon Torkoal. Um, how do we know they did bring Hat? Now, why don't they go into Hat and try and such a good... I mean, this is still fine, actually. This is still very fine. Um, Armor Rouge can't actually kill both my Mons. And if it's gonna go for Trick Room instead, I can Sucker Punch through the team pretty freely, which is still really good. Um, their Terra Grass, kinda wish I could target that with Ice Spinner, but it is what it is. Uh, Armor still isn't really that much of a threat, though. Uh, it's probably gonna go for Trick Room this turn, truthfully. And uh, these Sacred Swords, even though they're resisted, will probably at least bring us down to about 75. 75? Can we get to 75? Yeah, we can get to 75. Perfect. Okay. This is still fine. Uh, if it's gonna go for Trick Room, yep, we're gonna go for Trick Room. Okay, it's fine. Uh,. So my sash is still intact on the on the Chimpao, which is good. I can proceed to go for a Sucker Punch into Hatterene. And then I'll go for a Protect on the Samurai. Actually, do I want to go for Protect? I feel like that it might be in my best interest. Yeah, it's to go for Protect. Because I kind of want to bring out Gudra and then go for Terra on that. Perfect. Okay, so they go for Protect on Armourish, which means that I'm actually going to get another Sucker Punch guaranteed in the hat next turn. Uh, now, I might actually not take advantage of that, and I might instead go for Sucker Punch on Armourish, anticipating the hat Protect. But we can kind of just play that by ear, in all honesty. Um, hat's going to go for Gleam here. Okay. So I guess the, the million dollar question at this point is, is Hatterene in Life Orb? If it's Life Orb, I'm definitely Sucker Punching the Armourish. If it's not, there might be debate. Um, it is life orb. Okay, yeah, I'm sucker punching Armish. Uh, because even if Hat goes for protect and set, uh, that should just die. And I'll go for Aqua Cutter here. Into actually I'll just go for Ceaseless Edge. Um, I'll just dual target the Armorish here. In all honesty, it's probably my best play. Uh they're gonna definitely kill both my mods with Hattery and Gleam. It's just gonna do too much damage, but I'm kind of okay with that. Uh because Terra Bug Heatran in the end can probably be my my win con. Looking at the fact that they're gonna be down to just arm Oh perfect, they're switching out. That is so much better for me. Because there's no move that the Reach has that can kill both my mods. They overthought because now they're actually going to lose their Hatterene by doing this. Assuming that they don't target the Samurott this turn with Terra Blast. Yep, he waved. Perfect. Samurott avoids anyway. Not really a big deal. The best thing that gets them is that they didn't burn me. Well, the best thing that gets me, I guess, is that they didn't burn me. Uh, which really is good, to be fair. But I don't really care. I actually more care about the Spike at this point, to be honest. Uh, because that Spike is so good at this point to kill Hatterene. Uh, because we're now in a situation where my opponent is down to just last Monarch Luna. 
and I still have Samurai left, obviously, which is amazing. Uh, Samurai has a very good matchup to Ursulina. But more importantly, I also have the Terra Water on Gudra here, which is actually going to be really good. And I still also have the Heatran in the back, which is also really good. What I'm going to proceed to do is I'm going to actually go into the Gudra this turn. Uh, my goal essentially is just to go for the Terra Water, but to go for it on the next turn. I want to try and bait another ground move turn, because Facade would actually massacre my Gudra. So I'm going to bait the ground move turn at this point. Hatterene's going to drop the spike style, which is huge. Um, let's see. 20 turns of Trick and Roll. I'm pretty sure there's three, which means I don't think I can out stall it sufficiently. Two. Okay, I can't actually outstall this. But we're going to go for double protect them. Um, because at this point, I can just kill them on the following turn with the... Well, I'll go for Shelter, actually, because Shelter will maximize my damage against the Heatran on the following... Uh, with Heatran next to this on the following turn. With, like, a Flash Cannon plus the... Uh, plus the uh, Body Press. I don't know if I had long perfectly fine. Alright, so essentially at this point, my opponent's guaranteed loss. If they're not clicking Earthquake, they actually have no chance at even claiming another kill at this game. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for Tower Water. And I'm going to go for just Raw Body Press, if that's the case. And I'm going to go for Aqua Cutter here. And we're just going to kill the Ursulina. This should be a guaranteed KO. And the Samurai is going to very much pick off this Pokemon. Because they're targeting Gudra here. Which is great. Uh, Gudra won't kill native, but the Samurai will. And that Spike actually is really a huge deal here. To be fair, I was put in a very free position. I'll acknowledge that 100%. My opponent swapping really helped a lot because they made some really questionable swaps here. Um, oh my god, that just kills. I'm going to be honest, I did not think that would kill. Um, maybe I should have just saved the entire for Heatran. Uh, though I guess, again, it doesn't really matter. That's a good calc to know, though, actually. Uh, the fact that that just kills. That's a neutral hit, too. Um, I guess, yeah, to be fair, most of the time when I went for that, most of the time, I've already been plus two. So that actually explains a lot. Um... Even so, for the future, just to have a like, Heatran probably would have been better here. I could have became a ground resistance, which would have been valuable. My uh, Heatran's fairly bulky, too. We'll keep that in mind in case we find another Ursulina. We do have one more match today, though. We'll see you guys then. Okay, so we're taking on a team for our final game today of Champau, Tornadus, Cresselia, Heatran, Rillaboom, and most likely the Shifu Rapid. Uh, it could be Single Strike, to be fair, that does offer a little bit into, like, the Crest matchup here. Because there's not really a great Crest ma matchup here for this team otherwise. Uh, can, unless it's, like, SD Rillaboom, which I don't... I think it is on this comp. It's probably AV. Uh, it's probably AV really boom. Some sort of like Life Orb Heatran. Standard Cross or like Mental Herb. Torn probably Covert Cloak because of that. And then Pow is Sash and then Shifu's like Mystic Water. If I had to guess. Uh, realistically, I think my best lead here is probably going to be... I kind of like the Pow Dina lead yet again. Um, Pow Dina is just such a good lead, I feel like, in the most comps. Uh, it's especially great into these Torn comps. Samurott does have a lot of merit on lead though, as well, with like Jim Pow. Because Samurott Pow actually could be really good in the Crest matchup. Though I don't think they're leading Crest here. I think they're probably going to lead off with, like, Torn... I feel like the Torn Heatran's a pretty good lead for them, or maybe, like, Torn Rapid Shifu. Uh, both, I think, have a lot of merit against my team. I think my Bakmon is probably going to be... I kind of like the Heatran. Heatran Winterra Bug is actually so hard for them to kill. I'm going to go with Heatran Winterra Bug. Floating Man's not bad here, either. I think, though, that they have enough priority with, like, Pow, plus also, like, the Heatran's really good here. Uh, Cresselia will be bulky enough even without Terra to take that hit, to be honest. Torn can make Fluttermane's matchup really abysmal. I don't really like the Fluttermane here, in all honesty. Uh, it's, well, I don't like it in this matchup. It's not that it's bad with this team, I just don't like it in this matchup. Uh, but final game of the day, let's see if we can go undefeated. We are already 3-0, which is already really good. Most of our videos, we can't even get 2-1. So, we can even just go 3-1, I'll take it. Pow and Cresselia. Okay, so Crest did lead. I'm kind of okay with this, in all honesty. Uh, Pow and Cresselia is actually really good. Now, what I'm going to proceed to do, actually, it's going to be a little bit quirky of a play, but bear with me. I'm going to go for Terra Normal, but I'm not clicking E-Speed. I feel like E-Speed is a really bad play here, actually, and instead I'm going to click Outrage. No, actually, wait, never mind. I said that out loud. I realize I should always just go for the POW, and we're just going to go for a Protect on Chim Pow. Uh, my goal will be to Sucker Punch that in the following turn. They're probably going to go for... They're probably just going to go for Raw into my POW and go for Sacred Sword. I don't want to let them have that, though. I'd rather just kill the... the they're either going to go for Icicle, well, Ice Spinner into D Knight, or they're going to go for Sacred Sword into Pal. If they predict with Sacred Sword into D Knight, I'm fine with that as well. The goal is really just to kill their Pal before it becomes a problem. Uh, specifically because stuff like Pal plus Rajivu Rapid could be kind of scary. Um, let's see. Did they go for Protect? They did not. Perfect. Okay. So no Terra, no Protect. This Mon is going to get brought down right to Focus Ash. Unless it's Life Orb. It is Focus Ash. Perfect. Okay. Oh, wait. That was, that didn't proc Focus Ash. What? What the fuck? <laughs> Did that just really live on, like, a couple health? Oh my god. Okay, well, that's, that's honestly fine. Um, we're gonna proceed to go for the E-Speed here into Cresselia this time. 
and I'm gonna go for a Sucker Punch into their Chin Pao. Now, essentially, the way this is gonna work is either they're gonna put Protect, which I get brought down to Focus Dash most likely by a Dazzling Gleam if I guess. Uh, B, they're gonna go for a Sucker Punch and outpace me, which in that case, I lose my Pao, which I can just pick those off in the following turn then. Or C, they're just gonna lose their Chin Pao here because they went for Sacred Sword and my D Knight or my Chin Pao, and either one of those are fun. Uh, realistically though, I don't care enough to attack Cresselia because my D Knight next to is going to go. Yeah, my D Knight next to Chien Pao will do so much damage that I don't really care a ton. Probably gonna do like 40% of that, I guess. For Cresselia, uh, that does half actually. I'm kind of shocked. I really thought that would only peak at 40. Um, but this is still fine. They're either gonna go for like Lunar Blessing. No, they're gonna go for like, another Calm Mind. That's so good for me, actually. Um, I'm gonna proceed to Ice Spinner that and I'm gonna go for E-Speed in the PAL. Now that it's Burn the Protect, I actually no longer have that 50-50 here, where I should be maybe targeting Cress, and instead I should always be targeting PAL here just to pick it off, because there's no reason to take unnecessary damage, or like now that I've revealed that I'm putting Sucker Punch here, there's no reason to let that happen either. I'll actually go for Sucker into Cress, because even with Lunar Blessings, I can just dual target next turn, and I'm still very fun, uh, because their best play, I guess, would be going, I don't even know if they have a good response after this turn. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna E-Speed here, E-Speed should be very fine. Looking at their comp, I mean, they have Heatran, Rillaboom, Shifu, which, that's a very fine corp. It's not going to do anything against this. Um, okay. So, they're going to go for the Terra here. The Terra Ghost, pow, good play. No, they're going to Terra Cross. Uh, the Terra Ghost. Okay, I'm really glad that I made the play that I did then. Um, I'll be, this is just one of those things, I mean, no, I saved that. I was going to say this is a close sheet bullshit, but honestly, it's not even, because Terra Ghost Cross actually is a hard wall at first Luna right now, so I can get the logic. Um, I think it's actually a very good way to run this one, funny enough. Uh, so, I, I can't even pull off the, the standard close sheet bullshit whenever random Terra happens. It happened to benefit me anyway. I was gonna say Terra, that was what I was expecting. Which was fine, I didn't mind if it was just Terra, because if they did attack me with like a Gleam or something, I could have just picked off my back line and been fine. So this happened to work out really well for me. I mean, Ice Spinner probably would have killed their truth, but I didn't want to bank on the roll, in case there was one. Rashid is gonna come in. Uh, this does prove to be Rapid Strike, so I called that, and then Heatran's the other one. Okay. Uh, Heatran's fine, I don't care about Heatran actually at all. Even if it's Scarf, it's not a big deal, they've already burned Terra. I'm just gonna dual target Shifu here. Because even if this is like a Sash Shifu, because we technically didn't see a pop on Chien Pao and some blind, I'd rather not mess around with that. Uh, so we're just gonna pick off the Shifu here. If they detect Sobiet, I don't care enough. Um, but we should be able to just pick this off, and then Samurott should clean. Because Samurott's like the only one that actually kinda mind Shifu here. Um, yeah, and I should be good, I should be good. There's nothing really they could do actually against me. Pow Dina is just such a good lead, oh my god. Uh, Samurai definitely putting a lot of work today though, don't forget that. But like, Pow Dina is so good. They're gonna probably go for Heat Wave here. Uh, dual target didn't really work out. It's honestly fine, I don't really care. Because they're not gonna kill both of my mons here. And even if they just kill the, even if they just kill the D-Knight, I'm kind of okay with that. Because I have enough that can just pressure Shifu over. Uh, yep, okay, perfect. So, they're gonna kill my D-Knight, they're, they're gonna also bring my Pow down to Sash, which is fine. Uh, okay. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna proceed to go for the... I'm gonna proceed to go for their Life of Heatran. Heatran is fine. I'm gonna go into my own Heatran here. And I'm gonna try and bait out some sort of damage to hit. Um, a couple things I can do here. How fast is my Heatran actually, because that determines my play a lot. Are we... how fast are we? 109, we're not very fast, okay. We're gonna proceed to go for. I don't want to just go for Earth Power anyway. So they have already burned Terra. We have also already burned Terra. Um, I could just go for Earth Power. They might be slower than me. I don't actually know. We have a little bit of speed for sure because we're definitely faster than like Rotom Marks. But I don't know how fast this is. We'll go for Earth Power, and I'm gonna go for Sucker Punch. Actually, I'll go for. I'll go for Sacred Sword into Urshifu. If it Aqua Jets me, I'm fine with that. In all honesty, there's not really a huge concern with going for Aqua Jet here. Uh, they're gonna go for Protect instead. Protect is fine. Uh, because, again, truthfully, this is just damage. Um, Sacred Sword goes off, and that should do some good damage. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, so to try to see the Okay. So, again, this is pretty fine here, in all honesty. Um, okay. So, what I can do, I can probably just go into... That or Shifu's kind of a problem, I've decided. That no, Mon's kind of a problem. I should've brought Flutterman, maybe. But, still not. I, I can make it work. Um... I'm gonna go for Aqua Cutter into Heatran, and I'm gonna go for Sacred Sword into Urshifu. Uh, I think there's a good chance that they just 
go for detect on Heatran. I'm oh, not Heatran or Shifu this turn, which I'm okay with that, actually. I don't, well, no, actually, they have no reason to click that. What am I saying? Um, I need a Sacred Sword to crit, actually, to win this game, which is not too unlike. I mean, it's a crit. It's, oh, they're just gonna Aqua Jet. Um, okay, for better or worse, this kind of does something for me, I guess. I could have maybe Sucker Punched, but. Well, let's claim another kill, which is actually pretty decent. And then if Samurott somehow takes this hit, to be fair, the Sushiku probably is not boosting its fighting stab. Um, so I just need to like take what? Less than 90%? I can make that work. Let, let's gamble here. Let's gamble here. Maybe they're not even creeping me, actually. I've seen a lot of these weirdly enough going with the adamant and hitting 149, so there's a good chance they might not even be creeping me, which is actually huge. That's really huge. Nope, they're, they're creeping me. Okay, good game. Good game. 3-1 though, still honestly incredible. I'll take it. If you guys enjoyed this content and you want to see some more like it, of course, make sure to leave a like in the video and subscribe for more. Shoutouts to Kurt as always for editing the video. Make sure to check him out in the description below as all of his links will be down there for you guys, as well as the rental team for today if you're looking for it. Make sure to as well consider subscribing to the channel membership button where for only a couple dollars a month, you guys can get some bonus content such as our Regulation D first ladder challenge tomorrow, which I have saved as a surprise for the members, but I promise you guys, it will be more than worth it and it will probably be one of the best runs yet. Our current channel members, of course, are going to be Mia, Zeke Zero, Bebat, Timo Mueller, Sam, Bam Bambi, Rao Plays, Obo, Johannes B, and Dell, aka Double. Thank you guys for all of your extra support this month. With that said, I'll see you guys on Monday for our next video. Until then, peace out, guys.